are we looking? It's kind of dark in here. There you go. Now we're lit. <laughs> Three, two, one, action. Hello, I'm Brooklyn Murray and I'm part of the administration group and we founded this group to be the connection between students and MSU faculty. So we really wanted to have a dedicated group to reach out to MSU faculty for them to be aware of the issues and the safety concerns that us students face on a day-to-day -day basis because of the lighting at MSU campus. So we founded this group and separated it from the outreach group just so we can be the primary contacts for MSU faculty and create meetings as such that we did that we'll discuss further. Hi, I'm Kaylee and I'm also part of the admin group and I'm going to be talking about what we learned from our meeting with the electrical engineer, um, Mr. Kevin Beach. So um, in this meeting, Mr. Beach informed us that there's already an initiative for relighting taking place on MSU's campus, um, and he told us all about that project. And um, the most important information to share about that is that this um, project has been going on for about seven years now, um, and it was put on pause due to budget cuts and staffing shortages in the wake of the um, Larry Nassar scandal a few years ago, but has recently been kick-started after um, students have expressed more safety concerns uh, following the events of last fall. So um, the project is continuing this year, um, relighting beginning in East and South neighborhood, and they're hoping to expand it more. And um, what he conveyed to us is that our project and our voices act as a force multiplier for this initiative that is already in place. So we're gonna try to uh, work with him and expand the uh, movement that they've already got started for us. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Barcy, and I'm part of Light Up MSU's administration group. The administration group started by reaching out to multiple MSU administrators through email. While we didn't get any replies at first, we persevered and finally got someone to reply to us. Mr. Ken Beach, an electrical engineer in the Infrastructure, Planning, and Facilities Department reached out to us. He was extremely eager to know more about our project, our concerns, and how we could collaborate. We were able to schedule a meeting with Mr. Beach in which we had a long discussion about everything that goes into lighting, what changes they had already made on MSU's campus, and what changes they're making currently. After hearing all the valuable information Mr. Beach provided us with, we are making plans to have him come and meet with our class to share even more information with us all. Additionally, we plan to stay in contact with him and his team. He was really interested in our digital map, so we are hoping to possibly collaborate with MSU's Infrastructure Planning and Facilities Department to help bring their mapping skills to the next level. Hi, I'm Tess and I'm also part of the admin group. So basically, what's next for this project? Currently, it is in phase one, which costs about $500,000, and that's just getting um, replacements for the light bulbs and everything south of the river. Phase two and phase three involve replacing the lights north of the river, as well as getting new lights in general, and that's going to cost anywhere between $1.2 and $1.8 million. A week prior before we actually spoke to Mr. Beach, he actually ordered 9,000 new lights. So hopefully phase one of this project will be done by the end of this semester and they can start moving on to phase two and phase three. So we had to ask him the big question is what can we do to help his project that's already been started? And what he wanted us to do is basically just reach out to the public and to the students and let them know that this is going on. I think it shocked a lot of us, especially in the admin group, to know that this project has already kind of been in motion for about seven years. Um, so I think letting everybody know that people are trying to get more lighting on campus um, will really help the whole project move along. We are the research team. Our job is to provide resources and information to the other two groups in the class. Our two big projects this semester were the campus lighting survey map and creating visuals to support our data about light and dark spots on campus. Furthermore, we aided in the research process regarding the cost, installation, and procedures of installing streetlights on campus. We used Google My Maps to create our survey map. It's a service that allows you to create free collaborative maps. We could add and edit pins directly on the go from our smartphone browser. We split campus into smaller areas and each member of the class went out to survey light post locations and quality. We assessed lights as bright using green pins, lights that could use improvement in yellow, and lights that were dim or out in red. We marked and assessed almost 2,000 lights on campus. Some areas we think that need improvement include the River Trail and North Campus. We designed a system to create visuals of the difference in lighting on campus. After the mapping was complete, we traveled to different locations on campus at night 
Using a camera, we took a picture of a white sheet of paper using the same camera settings each time, so the differences in brightness were captured by how bright the paper appeared in each photo. We took pictures in each neighborhood of campus under different lighting conditions, great, mediocre, and poor. We conducted research as to what type of lights are currently installed around campus as well as the general cost. We also did research comparing the electrical usage, cost, and infrastructure of traditional versus solar-powered lighting. We found that LED and solar-powered lights are not only more cost-effective, but have a longer lifespan and greater overall light quality. Additionally, they require much less electricity and help to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Our main goal as a class was to bring awareness to issues involving poor lighting on campus. The research team made it our priority to ensure enough data and resources were made available and accessible for the other two groups in class. Thousands of pins were placed on a map and countless hours were spent working towards achieving our goal. Through a long semester of conducting research, synthesizing data, and gathering input, we were able to make meaningful contributions in hopes of creating a safer MSU for all students. We had decided as a class to work on this initiative as the lighting on campus is a huge concern that might be leading to the incidents on campus. The light has been in historically bad condition and the students are starting to get hurt because of it. After the tragedy of Brendan Santo, the lighting across campus was questioned. Of the 263 students surveyed, 96.2% think campus lighting needs to be improved. We decided as a class to take action to prevent future harm from coming to students. So one way of spreading awareness about this concern is to start with the students. Every day, hundreds of students pass by the rock on their way to class. We decided to paint the rock and camp out for the day. The rock location helps us to spread the word about the project and what MSU is doing to improve safety in the campus. The student responses were very positive and most students were glad someone is shining a light on this topic. In order to see how MSU students truly feel, we contacted a survey asking students about campus safety at night. The survey asked if campus lighting needed to be improved and if so, where they think lighting is needed on campus. We had 263 responses and this is what they had to say. Clearly, the general consensus is that we need to improve lighting in the northern part of campus as well as River Trail. My name is Dustin Petty. I'm the uh, a 410 convener and the advisor for the Bailey Scholars Program. So a 410 is a little bit different than the other Bailey courses because in our class, students pick a problem to spend the semester uh, addressing. They don't have to solve the problem, they have to address it. Uh, in this semester, we began online, like all MSU classes did. So uh, over Zoom for the first few weeks, we were trying to figure out what problem to address. Um, each student came with one uh, uh, suggestion to one of our classes, and we went through all the pros and cons of all of them, and this one really stuck out, uh, especially with the news about the young man who went missing on the MSU campus. It seemed to affect a lot of the students. So they really wanted to look into this and try to address it and try to make a safer, uh, brighter campus for all future MSU students. 